Dear students, in the previous video we have found one arithmetic mean between two numbers. Now in this video we are finding more than one arithmetic means between two numbers. First we will develop the formula and then we will do some examples. But before uh, starting, uh, subscribe this channel and like the video. If A and B are two numbers given and we are asked to find two arithmetic means between A and B, then we will insert two arithmetic means a1 and a2 between the given numbers a and b. Now this is an uh, arithmetic sequence of four numbers, four terms. The first term is a, the second term is a1, capital A1, the third term is capital A2, the fourth term is b. We know that the general formula for finding uh, the general term is a1 a n is equal to a1 plus n minus 1 into d and we will put n is equal to 2 3 4 and so on since this sequence is having four terms so we will go up to n is equal to 4 so first we will put n is equal to 2 so a2 is equal to a1 plus d if we put n is equal to 2 in this formula we will get this thing we will get this thing so and what is a2 a2 is capital a1 so capital a1 is equal to a1 plus d and a1 is equal to a so capital a1 is equal to a plus d and if we put n is equal to 3 in this formula we will get a3 is equal to a1 plus 2d put the value of a3 and a1 from here a3 is a capital A2 and A1 is equal to A. So we will get this thing and now put n is equal to 4 in this formula. We will get this thing A4 is equal to A1 plus 3D. And now put the values of A4 and A1. A4 is this thing and A1 is this thing. So B is equal to A plus 3D. From this B is equal to A plus 3D, we will find the value of D is equal to b minus a divided by 3 and now we will put this value of d in the equation this one and in this equation and we will find the first arithmetic mean and the second arithmetic mean so this is the procedure we will be doing in each and every question and this is the formula for finding d but we will generalize this formula a bit that is d is equal to b minus a divided by 2 plus 1 what is this 2 2 is basically the number of arithmetic means which are uh, which is 2 so n is equal to 2 that is why so if we are asked to find two arithmetic means then we will put 3 over here and if we are asked to find three arithmetic means that is n is equal to 3 then we will put, put one more that is 4 over here okay so in the denominator we will put the number of arithmetic means the number of arithmetic means plus 1 so d will be basically b minus a divided by the number of arithmetic means plus 1 so this will be the formula and this will be the number of arithmetic means number of AMs AMs mean arithmetic means so now go to another criteria if we are finding three arithmetic means between A and B we will follow the same procedure that is A and B are the two given numbers and we are inserting three arithmetic means between A and B and now this becomes an arithmetic sequence in which the first term is A the second term is capital A1 and the third term is capital A2 the fourth term is capital A3 the fifth term is B and this is the sequence having total number of uh, terms 5 and the common difference is D and this is the general formula of arithmetic sequence 
and we will put n is equal to 2 for finding second term, 3 for finding third term, 4 for finding fourth term and 5 for finding fifth term. If we put n is equal to 2 over here, we are getting this thing. And uh, uh, putting the values of a2 and a1 in it. So a1 is a and a2 is capital A1. So we will get this thing. Now put n is equal to 3 in this formula. So 3 and 3 minus 1. So we are getting a3 is equal to a1 plus 2d. And putting the values of a3 and a1 from this sequence a3 is capital A2 and A1 is small a. So this becomes this equation. A2 capital A2 is equal to A1 uh, A plus 2D. And now if you put n is equal to 4 in this general formula, we are getting A4 is equal to A1 plus 3D. What is the value of uh, A4 and A1? A4 is capital A3 and A1 is A. So this implies capital A3 is equal to A plus 3D. Now, if we put in this general formula, N is equal to 5. So, 5 and 5 minus 1. So, we are getting A5 is equal to A1 plus 4D. And what is the value of A5 and A1? A5 is B and A1 is A. So, B is equal to, so this implies B is equal to A plus 4D. And from this last term formula, last term equation, uh, D will be equal to B minus A divide 4. And this can be written as D is equal to B minus A divide 3 plus 1. What are the number of arithmetic means? 3. So, 3 is over here. So, the formula of D will be D is equal to B minus A divided by all divided by the number of arithmetic means plus 1. Now go to another state that we are finding n arithmetic means between A and B and we are generalizing the concept. So A and B are put aside on the both ends and insert n arithmetic means between A and B. A1, capital A1, capital A2, capital A3 and so on up to capital AN. Now this sequence, arithmetic sequence is having the number of arithmetic means N and A and B. So total terms in this sequence is N plus 2. Number of arithmetic means we are to find is N and terms in the sequence are n plus 2 and the common difference is D. Common difference means we are adding D with A1 to get capital A1 and then adding D with capital A1 to get capital A2. But we will use the generalized formula. The general formula for arithmetic sequence D and we will put n is equal to 2, 3, 4, 5 and so on then n plus 1 and then n plus 2 to get the value for each and every term of this sequence. So first of all let's start from here a2 by putting n is equal to 2 so a2 is equal to a1 plus d and what is the value of a2 and a1 a2 is capital a1 and a1 is a. So we are getting a1 capital A1 is equal to a plus d. Similarly, second term a2 is equal to a1 plus 2d by this formula by putting this one is a3 and this one is a4. Sorry. So okay a3 by putting n is equal to 3 we are getting the third term. Third term is equal to first term plus 2d and the third term formula n is equal to 3 is put in this equation and we are getting this thing and the a3 from this sequence is capital A2 and a1 from this sequence is a. So this implies 
capital A2 is equal to A plus 2D. Now put N is equal to 4 in this sequence, uh, in this general formula and we will be getting this thing A4 is equal to A1 plus 3D and now the value of A4 in this sequence, the fourth term is A3 capital A3. So capital A3 and what is the value of A1 is A. So this implies capital A3 is equal to A plus 3D. Now coming to by putting N is equal to N plus 1. N plus 1. So N plus 1 is put in this uh, in place of N. So we will be getting if we put N is equal to N plus 1. So N plus 1 is equal to A1 plus and put n plus 1 in place of n and d. So what we will be getting? This thing. a n plus 1 is equal to a1 plus nd. And now put the value of a n plus 1 and a1. What is a n plus 1? Is capital a n. And what is the value of a1? Is a. So this will imply a n capital A n is equal to A plus N D. Now coming to if we put N is equal to N plus 2 now in this general formula. So put N is equal to N plus 2 A1 plus and put N is equal to N plus 2. Put N plus 2 in place of N. N plus 2 minus 1 into D. So this becomes 2 minus 1 is 1. So a n plus 2 is equal to a 1 plus in bracket n plus 1 into d and by from the last equation what is the value of a n plus 2 is d and what is the value of a 1 is a. So this implies b is equal to a plus n plus 1 into d and from this we are finding the value d is equal to b minus a divided by n plus 1. And this is the formula for finding the common difference D and where N is the number of arithmetic means we are to find and we are asked to find. So this is the general formula. Now after finding D, we will put the value of D in this equation to find the first arithmetic mean and in this equation to find the second arithmetic mean and in this to find the third arithmetic mean and so on. To find the nth arithmetic means that is the last arithmetic mean we will find by this. So this is the generalized formula for finding arithmetic means that is a n is equal to a plus n d that is if we find an n will be 1, 2, 3 and so on. If we put n is equal to 1 so a1 will be equal to a plus 1d and if we put n is equal to 2 so a2 is equal to a plus 2d and if we put a n is equal to 3 in this formula we will get a3 is equal to a plus 3d and so on. Let's do some examples. Our first example is find two arithmetic means between 2 and 17. So given a is 2 and b is 17. So we will quickly find d. So d is equal to b minus a divide n plus 1. What is n? n is the number of arithmetic means. So n is 2. And what is b? 17. And what is a? 2. So d will be d will be 17 17 minus 2 divide n is 2 so 2 plus 1 so the answer is 15 divided by 3 is equal to 5 so d is given 5 now the general formula for arithmetic means is a n is equal to a plus n d first put n is equal to 1 then n is equal to 2 so we are finding two arithmetic means so we will stop over here so first n is equal to 1. So a1 is equal to a plus 1d that is d. And what is the value of a and d? a is 2 and d is 5. So 7 
and now put n is equal to 2 so a2 is equal to a plus 2d this mean 2 plus 2 multiply 5 what is the 5 so 2 multiply 5 is equal to 12 now this is a1 and this is a2 so we have found the two arithmetic means required if we put suppose these uh, arithmetic means between a and b that is a a1 a2 and b a is uh, 2 and a1 is 7 and a2 is 12 and b is 17 so now obviously this is an arithmetic sequence now because 7 minus 2 is 5 so 5 is the difference and 12 minus 7 is 5 and 17 minus 12 is 5 so this is the 5 we have found by this formula and if we insert uh, a1 and a2 between a and b so this becomes an arithmetic sequence now finding uh, we are finding uh, four arithmetic means between 4 and 14 so first we are taking 4 this which is a and we are taking 14 which is b and we are finding four arithmetic means that is a1 a2 a3 and a4 now uh, the general formula for arithmetic means capital a n is equal to a plus n d and we will put n is equal to 1 2 3 and 4 by this by putting n is equal to 1 in this so a plus 1 d and by putting n is equal to 2 in this we are getting a2 plus uh, a2 is equal to uh, a plus 2 d and by putting n is equal to 3 a3 is equal to a plus 3d and put n is equal to 4 in this general formula a4 is equal to a plus 4d now putting the values so a1 will be equal to a is 4 and what is d so d we will find separately by the formula d is equal to b minus a over n plus 1 what is n n is the number of arithmetic means so n is equal to 4 we are finding arithmetic means so d is equal to b minus a so 14 minus 4 divided by 4 plus 1 so d is equal to 10 divided by 5 which is equal to 2 so now we are in position of d we are having d is equal to 2 so 2 and the answer is 6 now for this what is the value of a 4 and 2 multiply d d is 2 so 8 and then what is the value of a small this and 3 multiply d what is d 2 so 6 plus 4 10 and the fourth arithmetic means a plus 4d what is a 4 and 4 multiply 2 4 to the 8 plus 4 12 so the arithmetic means are 6 8 10 12 a1 is equal to 6 a2 is equal to 8 a3 is equal to 10 and a4 is equal to 12 and if we insert these arithmetic means between a and b what is a4 and the first arithmetic means 6 then 8 and then 10 12 and then in the last b so 14 this is a and this one is b and these are the arithmetic means we have found we are doing another example find three arithmetic means between 3 and 5 so a is 3 and b is 5 now what is d d formula formula for d is b minus a divided n plus 1 where n 
is the number of arithmetic means. So we are finding three arithmetic means. So n is equal to three. Then d will be equal to b minus a divided by n plus one. B is five. A is three. Divide n plus one. Three plus one. This means two divided four, and the answer is one by two. So d is one by two. Now first. A is three. Then first arithmetic mean will be if we add d with it, and what is d? One by two. So the answer is three whole number and one by two. Then second arithmetic mean can be found from first arithmetic mean by adding one by two with it. So three one by two plus one by two is four, and then Third arithmetic mean is found from the second arithmetic mean by adding one by two with it, and we are getting four and a half. And then b, b is obtained by adding one by two with a three. Third arithmetic mean. So the answer is five, and we know that b is five, and a is three. So this is another way of finding finding the arithmetic means. One way is is this. So first arithmetic mean, the general formula for arithmetic means. So this is another way. A n is equal to first term, which is a plus n d. If we put n is equal to one, so a one is equal to a plus d. And the answer is what is a three and d is one by two and the answer is three whole number and one by two. If we put n is equal to two now, then a two is equal to a plus two d. Putting the values, a is three and two. What is d one by two and the answer is four. Now put n is equal to three. N a n is equal to a plus n d. So a three is equal to a plus three d, where a is three and d is one by two. So three plus three by two, and two is LCM. So six plus three, and this is nine by two, which is equal to Four and a half. So all the so a is first a a is three, then a one is three and a half, a two four, a three four and a half, and b is five. And if we look at this sequence, this is an arithmetic sequence. A one is obtained from a. By adding one by two with it, and similarly a two is obtained from a one by adding one by two with it, and a three is obtained from a two by adding one by two with a two to get a three, and b is similarly obtained from a three by adding one by two with it. With this, I end the video. Thank you.